Well, I'm a Hoosier. Uh, I was born in Indiana and I came up to North Dakota to uh, go to graduate school at NDSU in Fargo. And I fell in love with North Dakota. The prairie was just completely fascinating to me. My official title, like I said, is environmental manager. Basically what that means is the buck stops at my desk with regard to ensuring that the things that we do out there are restoring this diverse, productive set of values that uh, is what signifies um, successful reclaimed land so that somebody who comes after us can use that land for whatever you know they need to use it for. The body of water that you see and it runs up all the way through the trees off into the distance there and across the landscape here uh, to the south of me is what we call Coal Lake. We chose not to mine through those woody draws. If you imagine for a minute back in 2003 when we finished mining right there, literally right up against and around those, the tips of those woody draws all along there, that pit was 120 feet deep at that time. And so uh, you can see when you look out there now that you know, we've restored that landscape to where it blends in perfectly with the, uh, the existing landscape that was not mined. We have to alter the landscape for a period of time to extract the coal. And make no mistake about it, I, that's what we do. But the other side of that is that our, what we recognize as our legacy on the landscape is the restoration of this diverse productive value in the reclaimed landscape. I just don't think that people on the average put the human face on the folks that do this, on this mine or on any mine. You know, we live in North Dakota. We care about the landscape here. We care about our backyards. Most of the people who live here are either farmers or ranchers on the side. We all hunt, we all fish, we all do a lot of outdoor things in our normal lives. So we want to have pride in what we do in our workplace uh, so that we can sit here and say that our job in fact does not degrade the environment in any way. Here's 20 years worth of area that was mined and it looks just the same as, as the land that wasn't mined, okay? That's our legacy as far as we're concerned. That's what we want people to see, you know, as the final uh, chapter in, in how we're leaving the landscape and being responsible for it. All you have to do is look around. I think the, the vista behind us uh, speaks to that. You know, you cannot, you cannot visually tell uh, the difference between the mine land and the unmined land when you, when you look around you. I think that's, that's the proof right there. <laughs>